Okay, okay, we are back again. A couple days at home to get restocked on all these beautiful tools and other items we needed. Some more boards and some planking and a couple other things. And <coughs> we are looking good. Nothing's changed up here. Nobody broke into the trailer or messed with our tent or anything like that. Uh, so one raccoon print out in the mud, so we were a little bit worried about our food inside the tent, but he didn't get inside the tent, so that's a good thing. But we just unloaded most of the stuff we need for the deck. The plan is Donnie and I are here a day or two early before everybody else is coming. We're going to have a crew this time. And we're going to deck this front porch over with some hemlock planking. And then we're going to put up some posts with a header on top of it to catch these longer rafters that are going to go back into the rafters on the main building. So that's the plan, is hopefully we can get that done before they get here. Yeah, I don't see why not. Don't no, see. I don't see a problem. Yeah, the weather's absolutely perfect. No, a, lot of, a lot of this wood is dried out. I was just picking up some scraps. Yeah. Seems perfectly dry. The color on the building's even changed, Donnie. Yeah. So we might be able to insulate a little quicker than we were thinking. You know, we were worried with it being green that we'd have to really give it a month or two to dry out, but I'm thinking with a little bit of help with some fans or yeah, dehumidifiers or a wood stove, we yeah. might even have it dried out even quicker. Yeah. Or if we if the weather keeps up like it is, then we're golden too. Yeah. So Oh, it's good. Looking good. You happy to be back? Yeah. Yeah. I I like it. It's great here. Me too. Yeah. So oh, it'll be uh interesting to see a couple of days progress. The next couple be, days. Yeah, be yeah. really when you get these rafters sitting up there, yeah. man, make quite a quite a difference in looks and and uh feel of the place. Yeah, so the goal this trip is we're leaving ourselves about three full working days to get the rafters up. Gable walls built, gable overhangs built, the decking done, and also the metal roofing on. And then we're going to wrap the house and put some windows and doors in. That's all. And she's going to be <laughs> she's going to be weather tight. We got two <laughs> green horns. Days. Yeah, we got two green horns coming tomorrow. Um, Stevie and Sean. Oh, who, Stevie's had experience. He's worked here for three days. He's pretty green. <laughs> All right, we got one with three days experience and one with zero experience coming tomorrow. But we don't know. <laughs> he may be a builder. He may be a builder. You're yeah. right. Stevie surprised us. Yeah. And then uh, and then the next day, Brandon and one of his guys are coming up and helping us on the roof and the rafters. So yeah, well, I think we can do it. A lot of boarding to do. A lot, a lot of boarding. Yeah. yeah. A lot of, just, uh, lot of rafters. I'm really nervous about the boarding. We got 66 rafters to put up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then Donnie's really nervous about the boarding, if we have enough or not, so. You know, well, if worst came to worst, on the porch roof, we could strap it. Yeah. You know, yeah. it doesn't necessarily have to be boarded all the way. Well, you figured out what we needed because back it, in. It, yeah, I know. I you figured, you figured I, it out. I often figure wrong. You never figure wrong. I figured. He's never wrong. I am. Well, he figured it back in geez, uh, May, and we brought up piles and piles of boards. So we still got boards over there. We yeah. still got some here. We got a giant pile out front, another pile there, and then we brought up some pretty sweet boards. Take a look at these boards. You don't see boards like this nowadays. This is from... Russell Ogilvy got us these out of his dad's barn, but look at how wide that board is right there. And we got a stack of them, so boards like that are going to go quick. Yeah, I'll get my tape measure and show the folks at home what that board measures. It's got to be over, it's over 14, I know that. <laughs> yeah, so it's a 16 inch board right there. So three 16s equals 48, which is a sheet of plywood. So... We got like one, two, three, four, five sheets of plywood there, plus they're over eight foot long. So probably like eight sheets of plywood there, which would do quite a bit. It'd do half of one side of the roof, just in this little stack here. Then we got that other board pile over there that's got it. That board pile over there, Donnie's got a ton of boards in it. Yeah, I know. But I always worry. 
I have to worry about something. There's 17 rows and it's four foot wide by, what is that, 12 foot long? Those are 12s, yeah. So there's 17 rows. Yeah. Four by. Oh, so that's, that's 850 board foot right there. How much will that do? So if we're doing 30 by 14, that's 420, right? Yep. That's what we need for <laughs> each side. Well, that's, that does all the roof in that one pile it's right there. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Yeah, those 850 square feet. So that pile would do it. Yeah. And then under that green tarp over there, we have a nice pile. Then we also have this other half pile here. I guess we're going to have plenty. Yep, yeah, so these might end up going home, but they're so not going to go home. I guess I can sleep tonight. Yeah, you can sleep tonight yeah. for sure. I, I knew you had it figured right, but you just wanted to get these boards out of your mother's barn. Yeah, I did. Because i got to put my boat in. Yeah, but I just soon to see the fellas use these 16-inch boards up on the roof. That'd oh, go, yeah. That'd go a lot but, quicker. But, you know, when you hand one of these up and then you hand a 6-inch board up. <laughs> yeah, I know it. He's gonna, they're going to growl <laughs> oh, like I know a, it. I, oh, even if you send an 8-inch board I mean, there may be it. some violent words yeah. come out of his mouth. Yeah, there's a lot of violent words coming out of mouth on this job site. <laughs> <laughs> Most of them get edited. <laughs> that, and that being said guys i try to edit everything out um i might miss one once or once in a while here or there editing's hard editing's hard to do and i don't really have much time to do it and try to keep it in a timely fashion for you guys the pressure's always on so wow. i'm usually editing till one two in the morning and i got a lot of editing to do but every once in a while one slips and that's a total mistake i take out some stuff that it's pretty pretty funny that i'd love to leave in there but i know it's not right with kids watching and and wives watching and and girlfriends watching and stuff so we try to keep it a pretty clean channel for that and you know i've I've definitely had a lot of people come up to me on the side and thank me for doing that because yeah. there's just not a lot of channels no, on YouTube yeah. that, no that keep it clean. It. And there's no need to have it. It's it's yeah. one thing when we're out here talking yeah. with the guys yeah, and hanging know. out with the guys, and that's where like the camera's always rolling, and it's up to me to edit some of that stuff out. So I appreciate you guys understanding that, knowing what might go on, you know, off camera, and also not holding us to it if one slips. Boy, it's dried up a lot here. Yeah, It was running water here when we left a week, well, yeah. not a week, not even a week ago. We know, left it feels on like, Tuesday. It feels like a week. And we're, been, we're back on Friday. It's only been two, two days. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to, it's, we think it's a week because we got so much stuff done at home. As you can see, we got these boards, we got all this pile of stuff, and then, uh, I brought up some flooring too. Donnie said just paint the floor and he's probably right, but Stevie said put Pergo on it. So Stevie so, was a big advocate for this so Pergo stuff. We're gonna see how it works out for Stevie. Well, tell him what happened with the Stevie Pergo story. He saw it laid down somewhere in somebody's house and he, the guy that put it in the house said, geez, this is wearing really well. It's really scratch resistant and it's doing well, so. So Joe asked Stevie the other day. I bought it. I ended up buying you bought, it. Right, you bought it. Yeah. And uh, so he's asking Stevie how to put it down. Stevie had no idea how to put it down. All he knew was that it was scratch resistant <laughs> and it looked nice. I could read that on the package. I know. So, so uh, <laughs> we're going to indoctrinate Stevie at some point in time to learn how to put this down. Yeah. So you may have to watch YouTube. Yeah. It, it looks easy putting it down. If yeah, you guys, it it, this is Pergo Outlast. I I got a little bit of a discount at the at the Ho Depot on it, and it looked good. So came within budget. So I said let's roll with it. So I bought it. We'll we'll let you know how it goes and how it goes putting it down and how long it lasts, but. This stuff's supposed to be waterproof and scratch resistant, so it sounded good for a camp, and it's kind of pretty. And then on a side note, Donnie and I picked up today, um, we bought some cedar V-match that I'm really excited about. We're going to end up picking that up Monday when we pick up the rest of the yeah. roof. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's seconds or fourths, depending on how you grade lumber. So we'll be cutting around it, but man, it's it came in at the right price, and, and uh, we're still under budget, and it came in... It came in, it's Cedar V-Match, so that's pretty sweet stuff. Yeah, looks, it looked great. We're not yeah. going to do the whole house in it, but 
or the whole cabin in it, but we're gonna do the bedroom probably, right? Yeah. And the bedroom ceiling. And yeah, then... we'll, we'll see what that looks like yeah. and <laughs> yeah. you know. If, if it looks awesome, maybe. Yeah, maybe the whole place will get it. Yeah. I mean, you can't beat the price. <coughs> the price was crazy. Crazy price on it. Yeah. I don't even want to tell you guys because you'll go buy the rest of it. Right. Well, there is nothing no, to buy. We right. bought the rest we of it. All the but you'll buy the next lift on me before we can get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was just thinking of these nice wide boards. Make a nice floor upstairs in the loft. We can. If you want to save them for that, I'm game. I mean. It'd be nice to plane them, but. It's not necessary. You know, these these definitely are sawed thicker than ours. Are they? Not that that makes any difference yeah. because we're putting metal on the roof, but uh, I'm just wondering, would it be smart just for these, not these, these yeah. can go on the roof, Yep. but just a few of these mixed in with yeah. whatever we get. I'm game. I don't know. Yeah. What, what these, would, we, would we sand it or what would we do or just leave it? We could just, uh, you know, just leave it or, or, you know, lightly sand one side or something. I don't know. You know, you probably have a, like a scatter rug or something on mm. it up there maybe. Yeah. I don't know. It's going to be covered in beds mostly, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. So, but. but yeah, you, that would look good with those you know, 16 You know, if you inch. think we got enough. We got enough. Lumber. We got enough boards. You know, these, you look, look how thick that one is. Yeah, that one is pretty Holy thick. Holy mackerel. Hmm. Hmm. Too thick and thin, maybe? Thick and thin lumber. Yeah. They go right down to the floor. Oh. Of the trailer. That might be worth saving. Okay. Like, you know. Yeah. Well, I'll that probably would do quite an area up there. Yeah, it would. They go quick. Yeah. And I don't think we have that much room up there to do, to be honest with you. It's right. like 90 square foot or something. But we definitely could use those eight footers up. And hmm. So what I think I'm going to do then is I'll probably park this trailer up on the flat, unhook it up there on yeah. the road. I'll leave all this stuff right in it. Really? Somebody might steal the Pergo. I don't, they, can't imagine. If they take the Pergo, they take the Pergo. Where are we going to be when they take it? Yeah, I mean, we got to have room down here. We'll be yeah. sitting right here. If they yeah. take it, it's our own damn fault. So do you want to unload these eight footers? And I don't care. I just, we can leave them right on or take them off. What width are I mean, what size are they? All right, we're preparing to put our back deck on the farmer's porch decking. So that's going to be hemlock decking. And you got hemlock on top of hemlock. So uh, to keep from rotting, if there's water that sits in between them or gets trapped between, you could potentially have some rotting down the road. So we ran ice and water shield on this and on decks in the past, we've run uh, tar paper. And then we have tin going up there, up against the siding. And then we have tin out here on the edge on the outer edge too. So we're doing all we can to make sure that there's no rot for this in the future. But here we go. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna overhang it three quarters of an inch this way. And one inch on this side to make sure that this side stays straight. There. And we hit dead center on this joist here. We had snapped a line six and three quarters in because this is seven and three quarters. There we go. We're good to go. First one's going down. Donnie, are we going pretty tight on these and let them shrink? Yeah, I'm going to go right up tight. Yep. 
they feel they feel wet still so huh they feel pretty wet still yeah oh yeah they Look. Look all right for the first one? Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty wet. I'm not burying these too hard, just just a little bit. Yeah. The board's crooked as a mother. I said that board's crooked. I got a toenail. 
think I gotta use a spike to do it. To bring it back. Wow. Is that alright? Yeah. Kinda have to. Alright, I might just take this board right off. That's a rough one to start with. The board's way too twisted to start with. Can we cut it to uh, make a shorter one when you have a starter or something? Yeah. Oh, I can see it, yeah. Wicked bad. I hate you on the first one, you know? Right. Cut her down. I'll set her right here for now. It's got a wicked whoop. How's this look? This board bed, just as bad a twist, but I tried to get it out. It doesn't look bad. Okay. It, it came in like three inches and I had to yard it out. Huh. It should be straight now though. Yeah, it looks, looks good. So we gotta start at least for tomorrow. That's three quarters over the edge on the end too. Yeah. On each side. Oh, that's great. <laughs> rugged. Oh, this is going to be so rugged. That would dance out here. Yeah. yeah every row we do, we're going to have to measure for seven and a half or seven and three quarters. Yeah. Every board is different. <laughs> I know. You would think with a mm. mill like they have, that would be more precise. Millions of dollars. Sweet. So that was a a twelve to start. So I can start with an eight, right? Yeah. Four foot's fine. Yeah. That doesn't look half bad for straight. No.
This short one's got a little twist to it. I'm gonna have to bring back at the end. I can probably pull it in. You want me to screw with you? Yeah. Fight us, Donnie. Yeah, they probably will. Hey, supper smells pretty good. Uh, that smells pretty good. Yeah, like a beef stew. A beef stew. That smells pretty tremendous. You think I could work this sucker in here now? This bent one? Wow. Yeah, I bet you I could do that. Yeah, I think we can. If you start down here. Yeah, I got two inches here. Oh. Oh, yeah, I could do it. I think we can. Yeah. I, this is the only close. This is not too close, is it? Oh. Oh, so you've got to trim a little off, right? Yeah, three quarters, because I... Yeah. This was a hanger. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but you think we can straighten this son of a gun? Yeah. I know. I'll show you just how we're going to do it. Okay. I like the sound of that. You're going to be so impressed with my knowledge. Uh, I am already yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's all a joke. What go. knowledge have I got? All of it. Can't believe how bad this lumber is. Yeah, I'll get you a good chopping block tonight. I'll take the chainsaw over. Works pretty good. So that works real good. Yeah. You want to screw them in? I'll just give it the last little pull. Throwing a toenail in it, bang the heck out of that thing. Finished edge. That's why you're getting paid more than I am on this job. Too bad, I just figured keep her tight. Yeah.
All right, we got a pretty good start on the deck for tomorrow. Got a nice straight edge. Our overhang's good here by an inch. On this side, three quarter inch overhang on each <coughs> end of the deck. So lumber is not like really good we're working with here. So got to try to keep an eye on that a little bit better and look for some that have dips in it, aren't quite as thick or thin. And also the ones with the bows and Donnie showed me a really neat trick to get that bow out of it. But we just got the call for supper, yeah. for dinner. I've never, never been late for dinner, so here we go. What are we working on in here, Donnie? Uh, made up a beef for stew. Looks pretty decent. Yeah, it does. Holy cow. We got company coming? No, just us. Jeez. There's a lot. We'll be eating it tomorrow for lunch, I yeah. think. Nothing wrong with that. Dang, that looks good. It's just getting chilly enough too where our stew is gonna hit the spot. I got shorts and t-shirts on, but I shouldn't. But I'll set you guys up here and I got the fire laid if you want to close the flap and get the chill off. I'm gonna set this up while we talk over plans. Yes I'm alrighty, thank you, Donnie. This is exciting. Yeah, canned moose meat, made with canned moose meat. Oh, this is from that moose a couple of years ago. Yeah. Want, uh, oh, I'm gonna dunk it. Oh, dunk it. Yep. The only thing I don't have is soup spoons. Is what? Soup spoons. I'm gonna right. slow you down. Well, I'm happy to be back up here, Donnie. You got mm -hmm. salt and pepper there if you need some. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. It'll be real progress when you see those rafters up. Yeah. Yeah, it'll look even more progressive. Yeah. Yeah. That deck's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. Once we get that deck on and the posts and the header. Right. Boy, that's hot. Mm. We'll probably brace those posts off till we get the. Yeah, right. we'll brace them off. Till we get the rafters on them. Mm -hmm. But we'll still put the. <laughs> the header on it, right? Oh yeah, you gotta and have that on. And we'll brace the heck out of it, every which way. Yeah. How are we securing the bottoms of them? I'm Tot thinking some nails. of those, those, well, you put <coughs> those screws with the heads. Yeah. What do you think of that idea? Yeah. I bought a 50 pack of either 4 inch or 5 inch. Probably 4s would be good on that. Okay. And like toenail two sides. Maybe yeah. One up through. Oh, uh, you won't be. Able, well, let's see. Will you be able to? You might be able to get one up through. Yeah. <coughs> one we screw into the building. You can use those long screws to screw it in to yeah. the corner studs. Yeah, I don't know how many long ones I got. I didn't know I needed them for that. I think I grabbed a handful. Yeah. 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 We gotta stand up those poles and put a ladders next to it, lift the header on top, yeah. and then Fasten the headers together. <coughs> what I'm gonna do, two piece, is stand up the pole, get them leveled. The bottom two before. Yeah. I'm gonna nail right to the top of each of the posts, and then I'm gonna set the 
two two by eights on top of that. Now I'll screw up through the one that's on top of the post. Yeah. And then put a two by four on top. So we'll build it right on it. Yeah. Okay. It's that way I can tie. It's easy to tie in everything if I put the two by four on top of the post and. Yeah. 